Hey everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and on today's vlog, I am going to be talking about what I've been up to and update you on some of the things that I've been doing. Now some of you may have noticed that it's been a bit longer than usual since I've posted my last video. Part of the reason for that is I had to scrap my previous video for reasons I can't really say. So just a little over a week ago, I went and did the Last Call podcast with Six Shots Later. It was a lot of fun, and I've actually been doing research into Andrew Phelps' tree. Andrew is the lead singer and guitarist of Six Shots Later. And for the podcast, I showed him some of what I had found so far so but but then you get you know daughter of john burgess and fanny burgess hmm. and the father was living the mother is dead so now you know now we've got her parents so we've got all these different people so now we want to find more information so let's go to the next slide so now here we actually have a picture of Lindsay herbert phelps and maggie burgess so that these that these are your insane. second great grandparents that does not look like me too much so these Whatever. are your grandfather's grandparents. So that that's like super interesting because cool. if you see a picture of my grandfather, like that's that's very close to my grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Like extremely close. Be sure to check out the link for the whole podcast. So along with the podcast, I've also been doing some talks around town. Just a few days ago, I did a demonstration of genie.com for the Triangle Jewish Genealogical Society. And overall, I thought it went really well. So now I'm going to get to some of the stuff that I am really excited to talk about, and that's some updates and research that has been going on for some time now. So the first update that I wanted to talk about was for the Enriquez Pimentel family. Now this is a Sephardic Jewish family who uh, lived in the Netherlands, and the story is that they were actually from Spain and they descended from Juan Alonso Pimentel, who was the fifth Duke of Benevente. Now, we had documentation going all the way up to a David Enriquez Pimentel. And the story goes that David Enriquez Pimentel's son, Isaac, had received a letter from King Charles II of Spain allowing him to use the coat of arms of the House of Pimentel because David Enriquez Pimentel is a grandson of Juan Alonso Pimentel. Now, I had heard this years ago. In fact, the first article that I ever wrote about on my blog was about the Enriquez Pimentel family. But recently on Reddit, I noticed someone had posted a topic that seemed eerily similar to this story. So I clicked on it, and as I read through it, I realized they were talking about the Enriquez Pimentel family. But what was really great about his post was that he had actually tracked the document down. Or at least what we believe is the document. But the problem was the picture was really grainy, it was nearly impossible to read, and the picture was also of the document behind glass. So there's a ton of glare. It just makes it really difficult. And as we were doing this research, we were assisted by Tone Thielen, who actually found an article for us talking about the Enriquez Pimentel family and their connection to Juan Alonso Pimentel. And just the other day, I received a message, and he was messaging me about the Enriquez Pimentel family and asking if I knew any more about where the document was or about the family. So I messaged him back and I explained all of what we had recently found. And he messaged me back saying that not only did he know about the document where it was, he had a version of the article about the family in English. And this gentleman also had multiple pictures and scans of the document. And he gave me a bit of a history on the document. Apparently in 1955, there was an attempted restoration to the document, but it turned out terrible. He didn't explain exactly what happened with it, but he said that he actually had a black and white photo from before that restoration. As well, he had a photo that was high resolution from the early 90s, and he had a scan. He's going to be sending them to me, and I am so excited to check them out. Now, along with the Enriquez Pimento family, I have also been researching the Nunes Vaz family for the longest time. In fact, my mom is a Nunes Vaz, and I have been intrigued by the family since I was a little kid. 
A lot of members of my family have done a lot of research into this. My cousin David Nunes Vaz out in London has spent many years doing a lot of the research. My uncle Maury also spent a lot of time doing research himself. And there have been tons of other cousins who have put time and effort into researching the Nunes Vaz family. But recently, I've been taking an effort to take all of their work a step further. What I've been doing is trying to connect three separate branches of the family. There's a Dutch branch, which is my family. There's an Italian branch and then there's a Jamaican branch. Now in the Dutch branch there's one big family tree and I have done an extreme amount of work on that tree. Michael Waz has also assisted me in finding the ketubas for the family and he's helped in also deciphering those ketubas. But our main goal has been to connect that big tree to all of the other trees that are in the Italian branch and the Jamaican branch. And both the Italian families and the Jamaican families, there's a couple of them. On the Italian branch, I have uh, gotten a big boost of documentation through the work of Matteo Gianti. Matteo is a researcher in Livorno, which is where the Italian branch of the family is based out of. He has an expertise in the Jews of Livorno, and he's spent a lot of time working in the archives there. I've been in touch with him for a little while, and we've been working it out for him to uh, go and do some research for us. And just today I received the research that he's done so far, which has included 23 documents, which come from the non-Catholic civil registers of Livorno. But having these documents is going to allow me to really tighten up the Italian tree. And I think it actually has given me a glimpse of where the Dutch family may fit in to the Italian family. Now I've actually been in touch with a ton of members of all branches of the family. A cousin from the Dutch branch and a cousin from the Jamaican branch have both done Y DNA tests. So once we get the results, this will say for sure whether or not these are the same Nunes Vaz families. We think that it's more than likely going to be a match. There's so many commonalities between both families. Now I'm hoping to get one of the members from the Italian branch to do this test as well, and I've been in touch with a few of them crossing my fingers that I'll get word that they sent for a test. Thank you so much for checking out this update. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it the thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and family. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I am the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.